Gibraltar is playing host to the World Pool Masters. A field of 16 has just been reduced to eight. It's quarter-final time. Predicting just who will win this title is a difficult business. Day two completed the opening round and also completed the lineup for the last eight. In our last match, England's Chris Melling faced the 2010 champion Dennis Orcolo. After a promising start from the Englishman, the man from the Philippines struck back. He clearly mastered the speed of the table, leaving Melling scratching his head as he tried to work out a solution. The solution did materialise Orcolo into the quarterfinals. And completing the opening round, Jason Shaw triumphed against Joshua Filler. It was a tightly contested match. In the end, it came down to a few crucial errors from the German and clinical finishing from Shaw. Confirmation of our quarter-final lineup. Shaw, the latest name to join them, plays Alex Pagelein. Shane Van Boning takes on Darren Appleton. Niels Fyen plays Dennis Orcolo. And coming up next, the clash between Carl Boys and Ralph Suke. The format is simple throughout this tournament. Each match a race to eight racks with the winner breaking. There's a 30 second shot clock in operation, but a single extension can be taken per rack. Time then for the opening quarter final, Boys against Suke. Suke mastered the lag, but came up dry in the opening break. Advantage to Boys, but his mistake gave ball in hand to the German who claimed the opening rack. Suke had momentum on his side and easily took the second to move two up. This is now the third commentary from Daryl Peach and Ted Lerner. Hall of Famer Ralph Suke from Germany leads Carl Boys two to nil here. Oh, Ooh, and he geez. got lucky there yep. with that. The one barely squeaking by there. Watch this. Well, all three of Ralph's breaks is the, the one ball has just gone just below the middle pocket and it's always tracking towards that corner. So it's either going to go in or stay over the pocket. So if he does make an, a, another ball, a different ball. He'll have the one ball waiting there as well. So uh, if he can keep doing that, he's going to take some stopping. And you don't see too many break and runs, Ted, with this format. That's with, right. Without the tap balls, there's not been too many. done leaves himself a shot on the red three yeah it's just a, a matter of connecting the dots here Not too far to travel for the five. Six is next to the five. The seven's not too far from the six. The eight's not too far from the seven, and then the nine's waiting there in line, so. And he's not too far from a three nil lead. That's right. Like any pool player who plays for this long and at this level, you have your ups and downs, and you know about that, Daryl. And sometimes you're, you know, you can, you can, after being up for so long, you can have these valleys that you go through. And uh, Ralph, uh, you know, a few years ago had was definitely in a valley, and then all of a sudden, about a year and a half ago, Ralph started uh, coming back, and he's playing great. I think he won a Euro Tour event last year, Moscone Cup, and 
Yeah, yeah, he did. Like you say, every pool player seems to do it. Like lulls, highs and lows. And um, at the minute, Ralph's definitely on a high. Amazing. He's, most of his tournament results are, uh, he's always at the business end. But to be fair, so is Carl. On the GB9, which is the UK tour, he's won the last five tournaments. And in those tournaments, there's been the likes of myself, Darren Appleton, Chris Mellon. You know, so it's, uh, it's that's no mean feat. Well, right now, it is all Ralph Suke, the Kaiser, three to nil up, two breaking runs in a row. For Suke, he's got his opponent Carl Boyce parked comfortably in his chair. Ralph Suke leads it three to nil here, quarterfinals of the World Pool Masters. Welcome back to the World Pool Masters. This is the opening quarter final, boys against Suke. The German had raced into a three rack lead. He added another in the fourth, leaving the Englishman sitting on the sidelines. Boys had an opening in the fifth, which he took, but the German was back at the table in the sixth to restore his lead. This is now the seventh, Suke to break. Ball down. Where's the cue ball going? He's going to scratch, and he knows it. He walks oh, right shot. back to his chair. Oh, well, surely Carl's got to get this one. Piece. Yeah, the cue ball got an unlucky kick there off the four. Nothing you can do about that. But Carl's really has got to start and. Uh, take these chances now. He's gonna let the arm out. He's gotta sit yeah. playing loose. Yep. Focused but loose. He's gotta String a few together here. Lost the cue ball again. He meant to be maybe one foot less than what he's gone there. Needed more angle. He can still get over for the six, but he's got to force it now. Where is it before? If he'd have gone sort of a, a foot less than where he's gone. He would have just have to just stroke it nice and peaceful. Extension cold. And slide the cue ball over. Now he's got to pound it over. <laughs> On the flip side, when you do play those shots and play them well, it can give you some confidence. Did execute that nicely. Just these two balls, and he will have his second rack of the match. Well done from Carl Boys, a chance to uh, let the arm swing a little bit. Five to two now in favor of Ralph Suke. Ralph just needs three more, but it will be boys at the table. Again, he needs to put a few together. And there you see, it was the pink that kicked the cue ball into the corner pocket. Ralph knew it right away. And that was the conclusion of rack number seven. Oh, 
he, well, he got lucky there. The six got kicked in. Will he have a shot on the one? <coughs> the eight ball, the last ball rolling. Just, it's just the flat. last second. Watch the eight ball. Coming yeah. round, he's perfect on the one. The two bumps into the eight. Spoils the party. Just, yeah, spoils the party. <laughs> <coughs> well, he has a carom. The cue ball off the one onto the eight. And if he does make it, he will have the, the one ball down into the bottom corner. Oh. Nice roll. Yeah, he got safe. <clears throat> yeah, caught the one ball too thick. There's a chance here Ralph could even make the eight ball. Didn't mean to hit it full in the face like that. Meant to catch it half ball and send the one down table, leave the cue ball up, up the end where it is now. But uh, Carl just, is he thinking of attacking? Cross double, cross bank shot. Extension, Extension cold. I think he is, he's looking at the cross bank. Oh, double kiss. He is not happy about that. He's seething. Yeah, and at the same time, I mean, Sometimes you've got to grab the bull by the horns. I mean, you can play safe all day long. If it's not working, you've got to try something else. So sure. kick down the front door. This is it. Still some <laughs> plenty of work to do, so he shouldn't be too frustrated. You got to just stay positive. But, uh, Extension cold. <coughs> He's left it a little bit, a little bit tricky. It's I think Ralph's looking at making the one ball in the side, coming round the back of the two ball. It's a nice shot. Yeah, not easy to make those uh, cut shots into the side like that. making sure he comes way past the seven. Just wants to make sure he's got a, an angle on the four ball after this, so he can use the side rail to come down for the five. The five goes in both corner pockets. Track the cue ball somewhere towards where it where it is now. Well, all Carl, Carl boys can do now is just watch because. Uh, Ralph is in control. Chance to go up by six to two. 
He knows he's had his chances to get back in this match. He just didn't take advantage of the of those chances. Play this with left spin just to try and get a little bit nearer to the nine. He's on the wrong side of the seven, so the cue ball's going to wait above the middle pocket, and then he'll spin it down slightly. Excellent potting from Ralph Suke there. Six to two now. Just two more for a spot in the semifinals here at the World Pool Masters. And again, it's not like uh, Carl Boyce hasn't had his chances. He has. Although he was down 4-0, he could have been back in this match for sure. He knows it. It's like that shot there. He did have an easier safety shot but he decided to push that boat out and try and uh, close that deficit, try and get the ball rolling. He racked nine, Ralph Suke to break. You can see the frustration six there. Racks to two. He knows. He actually should be back in this match. One ball down. Looks like he has a shot on the two. So the, also the six ball has gone down. Now if that two ball goes past the nine, which I think it does. <coughs> he can just make it and play it with a lot of left spin. Try and uh, spin across the table for the three in the same pocket. <laughs> Ralph looking to put a stranglehold on the match here. Ralph going to play for the combination, the 4 7 combo here. Or is he going to try and spin it in behind the four? Yeah, he's played for the combo. It's a lovely shot. Played it perfect. Wow. Absolutely perfect. Precision. the extension on so he must be playing this left-handed didn't have to do too much finish reasonably straight on the five because the eight balls waiting over the side pocket so this is looking very very ominous now yeah for Carl absolutely he knows it You don't squander those chances that you get against Ralph Suke, especially a Suke who's playing this well. Yeah, there's a reason why he's won seven of these tournaments. Six. Six, sorry. And may win a and seven. maybe seven, yeah. There's a reason for it, and that is because he's one of the greatest players in the world. can't mess up against him you just got to take all your chances otherwise he makes it it's yeah. an uphill battle yeah, yeah he makes yeah. you pay slow roll 
rolls the nine in, and ever so slowly, Ralph Souquet is closer to a spot in the semifinals. He's closer to an amazing seventh Whirlpool Masters. Can he do it? Well, let's find out. After this, Ralph Suke leads it over Carl Boy, seven to two, one away from a spot in the final four. Welcome back to the Whirlpool Masters and the sight of Ralph Suke dominating a match. He's the tournament's most successful player with six titles to his name. And in this quarterfinal, he's on the hill against Carl Boys. This is now the 10th rack. Commentary from Daryl Peach and Ted Lerner. Race to eight. So just one more. He's got a ball down. Another ball down. So the four and the five are in. And the, the two ball may have come to Carl's rescue here. If Ralph was a little bit taller, he could just jump over the two, but because he's a little bit shorter than most, he, he might be uh, might not be able to do that. Yeah, because he's right-handed. He's on the right side of the table. Yeah. <laughs> When the, when the one ball's over the corner pocket like this after the break and you can't see it, it's so hard to play a push out because where, where are you going to leave it? Right. You know, so uh, he's looking to try and make this one ball off the side rail. Wow. Extension cold. Try to just flick it in and then the spin will take the cue ball off two rails after the one ball round for the two in the same pocket if he, if he hits it well. Caught it a bit thick. But it could have been worse, that's for sure. Yeah, not a bad leave for Ralph Suquet. Extension cold. <laughs> nice the controlled shot. I can't. See the blocking balls. Two rail kick. Well, I think that uh, Carl might be able to see this. Obviously, cannot afford any mistakes from here on in. It's a tall order indeed. Just finished the wrong side of the two, so he's got to go up table, back down, avoiding the traffic. And that, I think, is just OK. Yeah, he was dicing with it there, wasn't he? But he could get through, and as it happened, he had a 
Perfect angle just to come out for the six. If it's straight, it will just draw, draw straight back somewhere in front of his hand there. So he should get one back here. One shot at a time, one rack at a time. So the nine ball goes and Carl Boyce Makes it seven to three. A very, very long road back, however. It's just a race to eight. Well, we were saying we haven't seen anybody come back from a, a deficit like this. Is now the time? We shall see. And that was the shot there from Ralph Suke that left the rack open. And Carl cleaned up the colors to get his third rack. You know, I remember first seeing him in the 2007 11, World Pool Cowboys Championship, break. the very tournament you won. To that, yeah. was, that was his debut. In the World in, Championships, yeah. yeah, and he got to the semi-final and played right. absolutely brilliant. That was when everybody started to realize, man, you, uh, you Brits can play. Yeah, we can actually play, yeah. Yeah. I mean, who knew that you guys, <laughs> we knew, you know, English eight ball snooker, but American pool. And then he basically took over the sport for the next few years. It did seem like that. All the majors, we, we seem to be uh, taking them down for a few years. Last few years have dried up a little, though. Well, this one's dried up for Carl Boys right here. Nothing down. What in the world? Oh, sorry, he has the six ball down. <coughs> He's gonna leave it open. Two balls sitting out there. Yeah, yep. the one and the two are straightforward. It's just the three he's gonna have to Play a combo on the five. But it doesn't look too uh, too difficult. It's pretty much in line with the pocket. Four's right neck there waiting as well. must play absolutely flawless. It's a tall order. But in this format, it's certainly possible. Winner breaks. And you can see lining up the combination. Not just have to make the ball, but he has to get position and he does it. Nice touch there. Nicely controlled. Controlled all three balls there to perfection. All of a sudden, the comeback looks like it could be on. Well, it could be. He's looking to get out here. He hasn't had a break and run. 
So that's the thing. He needs to start making the ball on the break and, yeah. and getting a shot. If that happens, then uh, it could be on. So this will be two in a row for Carl Boys. We said earlier, one ball at a time, one rack at a time. Cannot look too far ahead. Ralph Suke only needs one to move into the semifinals. Ralph doesn't look too worried. If Carl can get this rack here, there, I believe there will be a little bit of heat applied. If you notice, Carl's not checking the rack. rack 12. I think he's the basically Carl said to himself, to right, to seven. he feels like he breaks better from this side of the table anyway, so he's just decided to do it. Just going to pound him. And just pound him and go for it. Just like that. Got a ball down. Well, he's got yeah. a shot. Yeah, he's got a shot. It's a thin one, but he's got a shot. That's right. Take a deep breath. So the three balls down. He's got a very thin cut on the one. The two ball. Problem yeah. is the two ball. Yeah, he, he, he could play into the... He could, yeah, we could play into the two ball with a shot. Just like this, maybe. That's lucky. Almost. It's a good effort. But now what? He may have to give up the table here. Well, he's probably going to just very thin slice and put the cue ball behind the five. That's loose. Yeah, Very he, easy safety shot. And yeah. I mean, if he does put him tight behind the five, he's a massive, massive favourite in this rack. Why did he rush that shot? He was disappointed with something. I think he thought that the, uh, the angle it came off the rail when he potted the one ball he didn't like it, so, but I mean, you've got to, you've got to sometimes take your medicine. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he Stanton rushed calls. that shot and uh, he's left it open. I mean, Ralph can't pot it, but he can see it. Yeah, and there, Carl realizes he's just, he just take a little step back, make sure of that safety, and he's a big favorite in this frame then. Ralph done here. Yeah, is few that loose on? ones. Few loose ones from Ralph all of a sudden. Caught this way too thin. Yeah, that appears to be on for Carl. Is the comeback on for Carl Boys? We will soon find out. Cold. He's won two in a row. Full extension, please. So he's not he's not really got a problem making the two ball. It, the problem is that the cue ball is going to be flying up and down the table. So that's the hard bit, controlling it. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh we got, did you see that? That was unbelievable. It was headed straight for the pocket and it just turned. It turned at the end. Watch this. He catches the knuckle there. It had a bit of spin on it. And he, it's the, he thinks it's in and then all of a sudden. I'll tell you what, he has to be careful. He could have been called for a foul there. He, he slammed his tip into the table before the ball had stopped rolling. Oh, what a break. Wow, we have, let's look at that again. That was incredible. That was for sure a scratch. I, I mean, maybe did the ball have some kind of spin on it or? No, it just, it just turned. 
The thing is, he hit his tip down onto the table, and I'm just thinking maybe he could have been called for a foul because I don't know if the vibration of hitting the tip maybe... I don't know. I've never seen that before. You're trying to find an answer for it. I don't know. Well, that's not it. <laughs> but you, do, you don't want to hit your tip on the table while the ball is rolling. Well, no. That's for sure because you don't want to be called for a foul. But look, he's back shooting, and he's looking at making this 7-5, up-breaking for 7-6. He's got to be feeling really pumped right now. Yeah, well, we often say in the pool world, you know, when, when you've got beat, oh, my opponent, he got a couple of rolls, rolls here and there, but that is a, literally a roll. <laughs> now, this is the point of the match in this comeback by Carl Boys. He was down 7-2. The heat is starting to be applied to Ralph Suquet. Welcome back to the opening quarterfinal in the World Pool Masters. Carl Boys is having to fight for his tournament life and ride his luck along the way. He claimed rack 12, but still trails Ralph Suke 5-7. This is now the 13th. Ball down. Oh, almost a nine going. The nine very nearly got Whoa. knocked in. Oh, boy. Look at that, the two nudges the nine towards the corner pocket. It's Will in it in there, wasn't he? <laughs> so do you go for this? Well, the two, the two doesn't, unless it goes up in the top, but I mean, it's so difficult to land on it. So no value maybe going going well, for the one. There's not really an easy safe. He's probably going to try and slide back down where the cue ball is now. Back with the cue ball, try and make the one. Slide in between there. And he's got the nudge. Oh. Look at this. It's all going his way now, but he's up against the rail here, but still. But wait a minute. If he makes this two ball, it looks like there's a simple carom, 4-9. You see it? Extension cold. He's just got to avoid, uh, just make sure he can get the cue ball so, between, so he can come between the seven and the eight, and it looks as if it's dead set. Right. Cue ball into the four, and then into the nine, and it's seven, six. Look at this. <laughs> He's shaking his head, but it looks looks pretty good to me. Just got to catch the four very thin. He got it. What a comeback by Carl Boys. Down seven to two. It's now seven six, and he is breaking to tie the match. Are we going Hill Hill for a spot in the semis or can Ralph Suke get a chance and close it out here? I don't ever want to hear Carl Boyce complain that he didn't get any rolls because he's had a few good ones here in this comeback. So the story has yet to be written here in this quarterfinal match. This is what Here winner 14, breaks pool is all about. You're never six, out of it to seven. until the last nine ball drops. Well, okay, he's had a couple of rolls, but 
the difference is now he's making a ball on the break. That's right. He's got a ball down. He's got two balls down. Will he have a shot on the red three? Is it the red three? Yeah. Yes. Red three. Falls there waiting. Yep. He does. It's a long one. Boy, this is a tester, and, and as it should be. The only thing is, he's got a bit of angle on it. I think he's got to play for the 4-9 combo as well. Because I don't think he can hold the cue ball on that side of the table. That's why he's pulling the faces. shot if he can make the make the three and land right right behind the four in line with the nine it's, it's virtually unmissable but if you know if he doesn't land very close to the four it's very missable I fancy him to make this three though nice and you see it's just traveled a bit far just those few extra inch there made Massive difference to this shot. But either way, he's going for it. Well, he's not got much else. Yeah. I mean, and he's got the ball rolling now. The snowball's getting bigger towards this... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's... So he wants to keep it going. It's rolling down that hill. This to tie. He uh, got it! Shot. We are going to a sudden death rack. What a comeback for Carl Boys. Down 7-2. He was done and dusted. It was, I mean, the look on his face 30 minutes ago, it was over. And he has clawed his way back into this match. Yeah, he's played some big shots. He's made, uh, made some great shots in this comeback. But it all goes back to that ball where it turned. Yeah. If that ball doesn't turn, the match is over. over. Ralph's got ball in hand. And you, you've got to figure it's uh, maybe the pool gods were shining down on Carl Boys with that saving him from that scratch. A miraculous save. The cue ball heading for the pocket and rack. surely a loss. And at the last minute, it just comes off the rail for some reason. Here we go. Carl Boys. Breaking for a miraculous win and a spot in the semifinals. Got two balls down. He needs a shot on the one. Oh, oh I, think I, it's, think, I think he can work with that. It's, <laughs> it's stopped absolutely perfect. I mean, he, right. if it had made one more turn, he would have been tied up. Even a couple of millimeters either way, but I think he's got a pretty straight, a straight combo. Unbelievable. The problem is, he's, I mean, the two balls tied. That, I think that's what he's, uh, you know, a little upset about. But well, he's playing safe. He's trying to get behind the eight ball. Okay, he likes that option better. And Ralph, who's been sitting down for a while here, back up at the table. I don't really feel that's going to affect Ralph. He's been here many times. He's going to leave that on. But again, that two ball tied up, hidden, the top right. So, Daryl, what do you do for that two ball? Well, he has got some angle. The two. I mean, he doesn't have to do all, run the balls out in one go here. If he can pop, make this one ball and get nice on the two so he can... <laughs> play a tight safe behind the seven ball, it could be a match winner. But he may try and burst it out here. 
And he did try he to did burst try. it out. And that's why, oh, is, well, okay. He did try to bust well, out the two ball. That's it, why he hit it at that pace. It looks like a disaster, but this oh. has finished so awkward because the one, it looks like it's tight on the rail. Now, if that's tight on the rail, it's, he's got to be accurate to pot this, and the cue ball can easily get away from him and travel Extension. down past, the, past the eight ball towards the corner. There you see, tight on the rail. Awkward cue in. This is difficult. Indeed it was. So everything's still well, up in the air. If that two ball goes past the six, which I think it does, this could be it because he'll, he'll be moving that seven ball out of the way after this shot with the one. Opening the pocket up. Nicely done. Boy, his heart must be beating very fast. So it's turning out to be a good move to play safe at the beginning of this rack for Carl Boys. And this is the kind of comeback that could uh, very well lead to the winner's circle. We've seen it many times over the years in pool. I mean, after being done and dusted, Daryl, and you make a comeback like this to win, and uh, from here on in, the arm is just free-flowing. Oh, yeah, everything's... Uh, the tables have turned so much, haven't they? The first half of the match, it was Ralph. It looked like it was going to be uh, an onslaught. But all of a sudden... And to be fair to Carl, he's played excellent the last half of the match. He's yeah. broke very, very well. And he hung in there. Yeah, exactly. He, it wasn't just break and run, break and run. He really, he clawed and scratched his way back. So this nine ball for a miraculous spot in the semifinals. He did it. Carl Boys with an amazing comeback. Coming back from 7-2 down to win eight to seven over Ralph Souquet. Manchester's Carl Boys moves into the semifinals here at the World Pool Masters. A remarkable comeback from Carl Boys. A match dominated by the German in the first half was turned around by Boys, who's the first man into the semifinals. He'll play either Neil's final, Dennis or Colo. Plenty of other big names to conjure with, amongst them Shane Van Boning and Alex Pagelayan all chasing the Mansion Bet Walpool Masters title.